to tomorrow during our 28 years on the air about digital photo frames a lot over the years. Well, we found a very modern one with a unique twist. So you certainly want to pay attention to this interview. And a reminder to those listening on the radio and have not seen the video yet, be sure to visit us at intotomorrow.com and you'll see the video of all of our radio interviews. Again, at intotomorrow.com. So I mentioned a modern digital photo frame, easy for people of all ages and abilities to enjoy, to participate with. The CTO and co-founder of a company called Famalink is Alexis Legoff. Alexis, welcome into tomorrow. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Glad to have you with us. Tell me first about Famalink as a company, and then let's get into your very cool picture frame. Yeah, Famalink is a French company that was created seven years ago, and now we are also in the US and in Canada. Very good, and the fact that it's different got our attention because initially one of our producers said, oh my gosh, we've talked about a hundred picture frames, what's gonna be different about this? And then we looked into it and we thought, it is different. Yeah, it is different because there are, actually there are many photo frames on the market, but this one is really the ultimate in simplicity. You just have to plug it on a power outlet and it will start and it is already connected thanks to a 4G SIM card that is already installed in a factory. So if you give this to your parents or your grandparents, they will have really nothing to do because the connection is already included. Everything is uh, included. They, they really have nothing to do. So what's really cool about it is that anyone in the family can contribute. So maybe you buy one for grandma and then members of the family around the country, around the world can submit pictures for her to enjoy. Yeah, exactly. We have customers all around the world and the idea is that you, you will buy this product for your parents, for example, and then you will invite your brothers, your sons and, and, and so on, so they can share photos from all, around, all over the world and it will be displayed instantly on the, on the photo frame. And of course, the fact that it's plug and play makes things very easy and that's helpful. Um, and the fact that it has a SIM card built in so they literally don't have to worry about connecting to Wi-Fi, but could they do that if they prefer? Yeah, exactly. We're the average age of the people who have this device is 85 years old. So we wanted to have a product as simple as possible. So that's why we included a 4G SIM card. But if they have, if they have Wi-Fi at home, they can also use Wi-Fi. Yeah. And some of the older folks, especially a lot of our listeners, are probably uh, as good at tech as some of the younger people because they live online. You know, they, they communicate that way. It's so important to them. So perhaps many of them can just say, I can connect it to Wi-Fi. It can't be that difficult, right? Sure, exactly. The, the, the product was designed for non-tech savvy people, but of course, everybody loves pictures. Everybody loves receiving pictures. So if you are tech savvy, you can also enjoy this product because you will receive photos from your family. And yes, you, you can connect to Wi-Fi if you want. And of course, it can work just the other way around, too. Maybe uh, you buy one for your own family and the grandparents simply connect. How does one connect to put in a picture or an updated photo or a set of photos from the dinner party or the holiday or whatever? Yeah, the, the, the company is called Familying because we wanted to connect families together. Uh, and yes, you can also buy a product for, for your, your, your children and then you will be able to send photos uh, the, both ways. Uh, it, it is designed for, you can have multiple devices and you can send photos to one device or several devices. Everything is, uh, is made for uh, people who have several families. So you can send perhaps from your cell phone, yeah? your smartphone, can you connect yeah. and send pictures? Maybe you've got a, a child in a dorm room somewhere at a university and you just want to keep them updated with what's going on back home. Yeah, to send photos, you can use the mobile app, the website, or you can even send photos by email because each uh, family link uh, the frame as a unique email address, so you just have to send your photos by email, so you don't have to download the app, you don't have, you don't know, you don't have to have an account, you can just send an email directly into the frame and it will be delivered directly. I like that, so you just email your photos. You email your photos, or you, we can also send by Telegram Messenger, so you can, uh, and Facebook Messenger, so we have several ways to send photos, so website, email, uh, web, um, mobile app and yeah, Telegram and Messenger. Got it. Is it available yet and how much? Yeah, it is available on our website, familylink.io, and it is uh, $149. Wow, that's, I, I think that's very reasonable. That's affordable, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we wanted to have a product that is affordable for everyone. Yeah. 
And what about, is there a monthly charge because of the, of the SIM card and how does that work? Exactly, so if you connect the device with Wi-Fi, there is no subscription at all. If you need the 4G SIM card that is included inside, the first three months are for free, and then after three months, is $5 per month. Okay. So use it the first three months on the SIM card, see how that works out, exactly. and by that time, if you've got Wi-Fi and connect it, then it's free. Exactly. Love it, and $149 is money well spent for your grandparents, your kids, your, the rest of your family, whatever the case. So good luck to you guys, good product. Thank you. It's our pleasure. Again, you want to visit them at Famalink, F-A-M-I-L-I-N-K, famalink.io. And of course, we'll get you there when you visit us at intotomorrow.com and see the video of this interview. You don't want to miss it. I'm Dave Graveline. More from Las Vegas as Into Tomorrow continues here on the Advanced Media Network.